Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I just want to talk about something that I've been seeing more and more of during the American campaign, the election campaign, and that is wrestling picking a side. Now obviously I got on a whole Kogan t-shirt. The reason for wearing this today is not because I'm some huge supporter of Hulk Hogan, it's just that it proves the point. Now, obviously that point is that wrestlers picking a side. Now, obviously Hulk Hogan is controversial, so I probably shouldn't be wearing the shirt. But obviously when I talk about wrestlers, we've seen Dave Batista back Kamala Harris. We've seen The Undertaker and Kane back Donald Trump. We've seen Hulk Hogan back Donald Trump. We've seen other wrestlers pick sides and it's just all messy. And look, I don't have a side in this race. I'm Australian, so I don't really care who runs America. I mean, to me, they're both politicians. I mean, I don't really care. <laughs> but, you know, I can have my reservations about Donald Trump the last time around did some things that I didn't really like, especially with how he handled a couple of things. But then again, Kamala Harris and the Biden administration over there have been doing things. So, you know, there are... There are trade-offs to both, and I don't have a say in both of them, so I don't live in America, so I don't know. I don't know about your politics enough. I don't know what's important to the everyday person over there. But why would you politicize yourself? Why would Dave Batista jump in? Why would The Undertaker and Kane jump in? Now, obviously, Kane is an elected member, elected representative for, I think, Knox County, so he is the mayor of Knox County. So he might have an incentive to back a Republican candidate because he is representing Republicans, I believe. Dave Batista is backing Kamala Harris, and obviously he was doing a workout video for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, it just it seems a bit odd that so many people are picking a side, and obviously Taylor Swift has jumped on the um, the Kamala Harris side, which is you know a lot of people are going to lean that way because Taylor Swift's lean that way, but. Wrestling and politics has always been a big thing, and obviously Jesse the Body Ventura is someone who's been elected, um, or has been elected in the past. He was the governor of, I believe, Minnesota. So wrestling and politics have always crossed over. Um, you know, uh, there's always um, there's always been this vibe of crossing them over. Obviously, Trump is a Hall of Famer in WWE. You have other things like, I believe, Barack Obama and Hillary and... John McCain were on the 2008 episodes when the campaign was happening. It's almost like the campaign cycle is a big thing. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people are watching the American thing because it's who's going to lead the world. Like America is still seen as a leader in the world stage. But does it need to be so over the top? Like I've seen people jumping at each other saying, you vote for her. I'm going to blur. You vote for him. I'm going to blur. It's like, at the end of the day, they're just probably as bad as each other. <laughs> and I'm just looking at this whole war campaign that's going on, or this whole campaign that's happening, like, war of words between the camp of Kamala Harris and the camp of Trump and all the people on both sides. And it's just like, do we really care? I mean, at the end of this, you're going to have someone who's going to lead, like, lead America. It's like the Australian campaigns. We all, we have compulsory voting over here, so we've got to vote. And a lot of people just say, you know what? They're both as bad as each other, both candidates. I mean, I don't really like that one. I don't really like that one. I can do the protest vote and vote for like someone, some other smaller party, but you can do a protest vote. But at the end of the day, who cares? I mean, I mean, you could say, oh, but who get this one will have a bit more money in my pocket. This one will do this. This one will put a house over my head. But these are seasoned politicians, and I'm just sick of seeing this whole thing of like, oh, well, now The Undertaker is bad. He's in the bad books because he, you know, oh, no, he's endorsed Donald Trump. And then the other Trump people are saying, oh, no, Batista, very bad. Like, I remember WrestleMania 23 when they fought over this. I mean, obviously, this is not an exact belt. But I remember Batista and The Undertaker fighting over this at Mania 23. Like, you know, it's like, I don't care. I'm still going to watch Undertaker. I'm still going to watch Batista. Who cares? I'm still going to watch Hulk Hogan, even though he does say some awful things here and there. But, you know, I mean, it's Hulk Hogan. You have to give him respect for what he did in the 80s. I mean, even if he's done some awful things and said something, I mean, he hasn't done awful things. He's said awful things. But, you know, he tries to make uh, do amendments and all that. And, he tr and, you know, he tries, but then he does something like, say something like saying he was in Wembley or, you know, putting himself in stories that wasn't there. You can see the Blu-ray covers there behind me. I mean, now you know where I store them. They're all old covers. But, you know, I don't 
don't really care about the politics of it. I just want to see, no, you know, seeing Dave Batista back Kamala Harris, let's say I was on the other side of that camp, I would still go and see a Dave Batista movie. Let's say I was on the Kamala side of things. I would still be going to see the One Dead Man show or listen to The Undertaker's podcast and YouTube channel. There is no reason why I don't get how American Americans get so into this campaign stuff. At the end of the day, it's not going to influence how I feel about them. Obviously, if it's Hulk Hogan, I might see him. I'll have to watch what he says. But do you get what I'm saying? I'm just a bit, I'm just a bit cracked up laughing at all this stuff. And, you know, I don't have a, I don't have a side in this whole thing. I don't care who wins the American election. It doesn't influence me any way, shape or form. I don't care. It's like the Australian election. I don't really care who runs Australia at this point. Like, they're, the way I say it is like, you know, they're both kind of the same parties. The two major parties, Labour and Liberal, they're both kind of the same party at this point. And there's no real, like, what Labour stood for initially, that's not really existing anymore because Labour was big on getting houses for people and, like, getting a bit more income in your bank account and all that stuff. And they have made, they have done stuff in their campaign, like Anthony Albanese's done that in part. But, I mean, the housing crisis still isn't solved. The cost of living, I mean... You still have supermarkets running amok in this country, the duopoly, and they haven't. I know, I know that there was a Senate inquiry about it, but I mean, it's still Woolworths and Coles controlling a huge part of the market. And we've also seen, like, you know, that's also the case with place things like Ticketmaster and Ticketek with the ticketing sites. And a lot of smaller promoters are struggling to compete with that big juggernaut of those two. So, you know, I don't. I don't get into politics. This is why I don't talk politics and I don't care about politics. At the end of the day, all the parties are just kind of the same. And it just doesn't make sense that I would feel so strongly about, oh, Kamala Harris is going to do better or Trump's going to do better. And I mean, yeah, I mean, look, we, we have to talk about January 6th. But, you know, I mean, I don't, I'm not American. I don't, I mean, obviously that was very bad for democracy. Very, very bad. But... At the end of the day, like, I don't like to get involved in that stuff. I don't like to talk about it. I don't like to think about it. It's not for me to talk about. I'm not American. I am not in that country and living it and voting for those people and understanding. And, you know, obviously the control thing of, like, I don't know if I can mention it, but, like, control of um, arms, you know. I don't know. It's part of the amendments over there. But, like, you know, I don't know. It just seems odd to just get so into politics to me and it just seems a bit odd that now we're seeing wrestling and we're seeing actors and musicians all taking sides and suddenly we're meant to be like, oh, okay, Taylor Swift is voting for Kamala. I must vote for Kamala. It's like, make an independent vote. Just do what feels right to you. Who cares? I mean, I know people are going to go, yeah, well, you don't know anything. You know, you're not even American. Well, yeah, I'm going to do a batch shoot, by the way. So if you're watching this video and... You see me with the Hulkamania shirt on in like two or three more videos. You'll know why the topic is because I wanted to mention Hulk Hogan because obviously he was one of the first wrestlers who kind of came out in this whole campaign and like got up on that stage and done his whole Hulkamania. And he went into character and it was just the most hilarious thing of this whole campaign so far. Except Dave Batista working out in the gym and talking about Kamala Harris being alpha. <laughs> That's also pretty funny. But do you understand? I, I don't care. Whoever wins, wins over there. And I know people are going to say, boy, do this or that. Who cares? I mean, both of them are politicians. Both of them are going to make decisions that you're not going to like. Both of them are going to make some decisions you like. That's just how politics go. Anyways, didn't want to make this video, but I've seen, seen wrestling fans just going neck to neck at each other all week. And yeah, who cares? I'm still going to watch Undertaker matches. I'm still going to watch Batista matches. I'm still going to watch his latest films. I'm still going to watch The Undertaker and all that. Who cares? Anyways, let me know what you think, guys. Check out one of my latest videos as well. I'm, I figured out how to put end screens on these things. So whatever's here, something will be over here somewhere. And yeah, let me know what you think. And yeah, watch another video and subscribe. I don't know. Drop a like. Catch you in the next one. Peace.